Hello, it's Priscilla Batzel in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression Star Studio Gallery. And I have a collection of little tiny silicone bowls that I thought would be cute to start the film with because I'm going to use them to dip colors and rings. And they might be kind of boring because they're all the same size, but we're going to give it a shot anyway because it sounds like an experiment I want to do and that it'll be fun. And so what I'm going to do is take my 10 by 10 inch canvas and my two, these are just the lids from storage containers. They came from Kitchen Essentials and Califon. So if they have more of these, I'm going to buy more because I've been making, where? I'll show you. I've been making circles for a while now inside and peeling them up the next day. And they are pretty awesome. I'm going to use them all in a big collage soon, I hope. For right now, I think if I take some Chantilly lace, Prism pour. Put that mostly in a ring around the outside edge. That will moisten my base. And I may have to scrape these out to use them in another painting, but I can do that. This is Mayan gold with a slight plug. That's irritating. Okay. <laughs> That's not expected. Give me a moment. There I have something. I'm still going to have to cover the canvas with some paint. And it might be black and it might be white or it might be bold. This is my African violet. I'm going to leave that top off. I have some pink diamond. I'm going to use a little water dragon to make sure that's shaken. My paint pouring recipe for the prism pours is underneath Shamor, underneath the 20% off coupon code. And it usually most of the time, entails some Vivid Polypore, some Floetrol, and some GAC 800. I'm not even sure how I'm going to pick this up, but I am sure whatever's left in the, in, the, uh, in the top will probably be useful. I can just let it dry and it can become another orb in my orbscape that's coming up. That is Frozen. Yes, it is. I love Frozen. Frozen is one of my favorite colors. I have a lot of favorite colors, and they're pretty much all prison bars right now. I do use primary elements by color art also sometimes. It's just not as often, because I've mixed these and put them in bottles, and I, I think they're awesome. So I think what I want to finish with is a little poinsettia. Did I shake it first? I've learned my lesson. If you do use these five ounce bottles and you buy them in a 12 pack for like 12 bucks, if you do use them, keep an eye on them. First of all, I recommend buying Cl Glad's cling wrap and labeling them. But secondly, the prison pores tend to have a mica, mica that sinks to the bottom to a degree. Oh, I know what I wanted to use. I wanted to throw some orange in there. I didn't put any black in there, and I still need to move those aside. Put those down, that down. I don't know why I brought the second one out. Let's just quick like a bunny use some paint. Quick shake. Clear off the Okay, that needs to have the tip cleaned out. I'll grab an OXO omelet turning flip and fold spatula by Good Grips on my Amazon link. My Amazon link is on my link tree. My link tree is underneath Show More along with my paint bring recipe. I think I mentioned that. I do need to clean that tip out. So let's just do this thing. You know, I'd really like to put some black cell activator on my spatula and see what happens first.
Ooh, I got a batch of Splotrol in that white that does not smell good. Woo! That's whiffy. Woo! Alright, so. As long as I'm all covered. Should be fine. It's kind of like a little heavier, but getting the paint out of the bottle wasn't my first choice, priority. Let's just, um... Let's wipe that spatula off on the edge of the canvas so we know at least one side is covered. And then I'll just reuse it. I keep a nice wet or a nice damp studio rag and that's how clean it makes it. A little wipe on my painter, painter pants would be okay. All right, let's give this a little bit of a shake. I kind of want even more than that. I kind of want some purple with it. If I can get it open. All right, so there's my background, and it's not selling particularly, but I was also using that Artist Loft, which is not my favorite, at least not currently. At least not with that stinky flow troll in it. But it will still serve the purpose of finding out if I can do what I wanted to do, and I get better keep the paint off my hands. I don't mind that, but it reminds me of a beer can ring. Or the Olympics. Makes me wish I grabbed a bunch of other things like, you know, bottle caps. Oh, you know what? That's a good idea. Why don't I take the bottom of that and see what happens. I had to wipe out the center so I didn't... That's kind of cool. I'm surprised I can do that. Now I could, if I want to, at a certain point, decide to put down a couple puddles of paint and use my cell activator. Or I can just go right back to doing what I was doing. Pinching the base of the pinch bowl to hold on to it. That Chantilly lace I started with is staying in evidence. Kind of want some gold. I mean, like, really want some gold. So this time I'm just going to use a cottage cheese lid. Actually, I've got this other. That's slightly different size, isn't it? That's good. Just use what I've got. not promising to make a masterpiece. And so far I won't have a problem keeping that promise either. Now I'm not even dipping anymore. Now I'm just swiveling. What paint? It 
totally makes me want to go find one of my little toothy tools. Actually, now that I'm just giving myself permission to have fun, it's more fun. <laughs> it's different anyway. Fun is good, I always used to say. I don't know why I stopped saying that. Fun is good. want black or white maybe some white and then I might want to call it good what white do I want I want I don't think the Chantilly lace really shows up but I'm not 100% sure on that so this could be anything but it's the artist loft again we'll call it stinky I had a bigger palette with some like cling wrap on it and a whole bunch of circles I could dip into. Now I just want black. See, I'm going over the edge. You can spin it. It's just fun. I wonder if I could have some poinsettia. I know people have been using coffee cups for creating fluid art for a long time. Oh, I like the little drag. Yeah, stick it in and twist it, and it brings up whatever's or exposes the paint color on the bottom, the bottom layer. I'm not too impressed with myself right now, I gotta say, but. Um, I could certainly do something else. And that something else would be add some pink diamond, which never hurts my feelings and always makes me happy. And maybe some other colors. Now that I'm looking at the dots, which seem to make a tremendous amount of difference as far as I'm concerned. Never say it's over till it's over. Haven't sung the aria yet. How about a little gold? Just trying to be kind of random. I'll probably cover my edges with black. I'm thinking water dragon for my next into dotting. I'm pretty sure this is going to dry magnificently. It's not outside the realm of possibility that at this point if you wanted to dribble something or you had some leftover colors you could do that too. I think my paint would need to be heavier to be able to make good cells by dragging a tool. I think I need more paint. I see that blue color and that makes me want the frozen. It just doesn't, it, I'm happy that it doesn't look like everything else, but it's basically just me messing around with ideas. Oh yeah. Dots and rings. It's all about the colors. Maybe it, there should be some white in there. I wonder what I could do with about that. Maybe this very pale frosted berry color is the ticket. Let's clean up my little top. Did I mention that these bottles, yes I did, are for sale on my Amazon link. If you ever need a link for anything, please just feel free to ask me. I have my links saved. I have uh, over 2,400 videos 
and they're organized by topic and genre and by the hundred. So if you can't find what you're looking for by going to my channel and seeking out playlists, all playlists, created playlists, you can certainly do that. You can certainly get what you're after by asking me. I just want all the colors now. <laughs> Go figure. Is anyone surprised? <laughs> I don't think so. This is the poinsettia. Like I said, not necessarily a masterpiece, but fun and colorful. And I managed to use all my time up. I have to tell you, I do sell my artwork. And if you're interested in making a purchase or inquiring about making a purchase, feel free to use my email address. It's right below the link tree. Whoa. Okay, I just mixed that up. I wasn't expecting that to come out of there. This is the Tuscan Sun. I didn't use any of that. But I think it might be just the ticket. So I, on my link tree, you find Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter links. Facebook group, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group is for students. I love these bottles. Did I mention that? I love the convenience of having my paint already mixed up. And instead, like the old, the old way I did my paints was to, um, to mix them in the bottle, which is fine for a large bottle and regular acrylic paint. But I like to mix this paint in a little cup, because then I know just how much of everything I'm using. And I usually put my GAC 800 in first. That's kind of fun. You know, I don't know what it's going to dry like. It might be a stage one. There might be some other stage coming afterwards. I think, oh yeah. How about a little Fandango before we're gone? And um, I told you about Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter links. I mentioned, did I mention? No, I did not. Spring clothing below the video means that um, if you check out what's there and you don't find what you're after, any of the, any of the artwork produced in my videos and elsewhere is available. Oh, that's perfect. That's exactly what it needed. I like, except for that bubble. I like the green. The green makes it more like Skittles. <laughs> I'm just having fun. I, I wonder if I could spiral a few things. I wonder what I could do, but now I actually really like this, and I like that some of the the colors are spreading out. But I want to tell you guys I love you and thank you very much for all the kind words and the comments that keep my morale boosted while my channel seems to be sinking. Glug, 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 glug. Um, <laughs> anyway, please give me a thumbs up. And when you share my videos, you help me out. When you watch them longer, you help me out. When you, um, when you comment, you help me out. And you have, many of you have been extraordinarily kind and, and, and wonderful. And I want to say how much I appreciate your morale boosting comments. I'm going to zoom in on this. That's kind of fun. That's just, that would make a great background for something. You could, you could put flowers on top of that if you wanted to, something like that. I'll be checking for some bubbles and poking them with a stick. My favorite thing is poking bubbles with a stick. I know I'm giddy and weird. Uh, my paint pouring recipes are, as I may have mentioned below the video, under, underneath show more. Any shopping you might happen to do on the Amazon link that's on my link tree is, help, is helpful. I do give lessons at the house in Spring Hill, Florida. Uh, private one-on-one. -on -one. I want to say thank you for joining me in a donation through PayPal. The link, link is on the lower hand right side of my, of my uh, YouTube channel banner and also on the link tree. And if you do make a donation, you will be, receive an automatic invitation to get in the monthly drawing. And you can see the prizes at the beginning of the exhibition video on the end screen in the last 20 seconds of this video. And the um, questions are okay. Please ask me questions. I think I'm going to run out of time in a second. I love you guys. Thank you so much for inspiring me. Um, I was going to say something and I forgot. Never mind. You'll see it in another video. <laughs> if you have questions, always feel free to ask me. I love you guys. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. Bye for now. This is Priscilla Batzel in Spring Hill, Florida saying, I hope you come again. I post seven days a week. And it was around noon. It might still be around noon, Eastern Standard Time, but it might change to midnight. You never know. But uh, watch my community board for that. And you can see what tomorrow's video is on my community board, too. See, I forgot. Actually, I did forget stuff. All right. I'll see you anon. Bye for now. Priscilla out. I love you. All of you. Thanks for the inspiration again.